Hi, my name is Brandon Gallus. I'm in the Division of Imaging, Diagnostics, and Software Reliability at the Food and Drug Administration. I created this video to talk about pathologist variability and agreement from a pilot study. Let's start with the clinical context of this work. It's breast cancer, specifically a pathology biomarker called stromal tumor infiltrating lymphocytes, and it goes by the moniker STILS. The clinical relevance of STILS is that it's prognostic for survival, and it's expected to inform patient management. The microscope has recently gone digital, opening the door for artificial intelligence to evaluate the biomarker. An algorithm can reduce the burden on the pathologist and allow the evaluation process to be more reproducible and more quantitative. The deliverables we're creating in this project really center on the reference standard data from pathologists. We are collecting data that we can use to validate an algorithm. In addition to the data, we're also developing methods to validate algorithms. These methods need to account for the complex variability from the pathologists and the correlations in the study designs that we're creating. You might be wondering how we collect the data. We have three different evaluation platforms in our study. Two of them are digital and one of them is the microscope. Our study materials start with 64 hematoxylin and eosin stained slides. The HNE stain is what produces the pink and purple colors. We pre-select 10 regions of interest on each slide for a total of 640, and we split the work into eight batches of eight to break the study into bite-sized chunks. One batch takes about 30 minutes. Let's start looking at the data. One of the main reasons for presenting today is to introduce and share our data. And our data package with the data is live on GitHub. If you aren't familiar with R, it's a statistical programming language. The primary data is the annotation data. It is a data frame named Pilot HTT. We have collected more than 7,000 observations from 35 pathologists. Here's what our data looks like. This figure shows the CV or coefficient of variation for every ROI with data. Each circle corresponds to one ROI. The mean and CV are based on averages over the readers. The horizontal lines here average over blocks of 10% of the data, or 57 ROIs. This helps show that there are a lot of data at low values and the CV appears to be decreasing. The vertical lines correspond to clinical thresholds, creating bins of low, medium, and high S-till density values. The S-till density, just so you know, is prognostic for survival such that the higher the density, the better the prognosis. I'd like to show you more, especially results related to the mean square difference. But given this is a speed session, I can't do that in four minutes. Instead, let me just say that we are not dealing with textbook data. The data are not independent and identically distributed. So, we're developing sophisticated methods to treat the non-stationary data and the complicated correlations. I hope this intrigues you enough to listen to the 15-minute video and explore the data on GitHub. So, that's it. I invite feedback and questions via the issues page on GitHub or to me directly by email. Thank you for listening.